Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review. All right, so today it's one of those odd days where it's like, you know what? I really need to finish this, or I will never get to it. So, part two of this bento box is Punch Kampao. There we go. And I didn't really like it. I remember I didn't really like it. So it's a revisit, but I don't really like it. I remember I don't really like it. And which is kind of weird because the stuff in there is technically good. The wrapper is USA Connecticut Broadleaf, which often used. And then we have the Honduras Habano binder, which is really good tobacco. And then we have Brazilian, Dominican, Honduras, and Mexico for filler, which is probably where the problem is. So, I don't know. Only ways to do it is to revisit. I smoked a few in the past, and I don't think I ever liked it. I think other than egg roll, all the other ones are pretty bad. So, MSRP was $5.99 for this thing. The Vitola is 6x52 Toro. And I'm kind of afraid to smoke it. <sighs> okay. It already smells bad. It smells like a peppery, like chili peppery. Dirt. Those yellow dirt with some rocks and concrete. Those ones that you actually fall on when you are a kid and you get up and you have like scrape all over your hand and, and you know, get, uh, that kind of dirt. Not a happy dirt. So, let's get cutting. Let's get smoking. I mean, uh, I mean, if I didn't know this was bad for my memory, I would have said this design is pretty good. You know, you got to open shaggy foot. You got to really like, I don't know, leather sofa, like wrapper and you, you, nah. it, it just I'm not looking forward to this. All right, cut. Might be the shaggy foot, but the but the but the the cigar is wicked loose. Like you can see that I am not in a good mood to review this one because obviously it's not like I have some mental preparation that this was bad because and also how much I had to spend on buying the box just so that I can have some egg roll no I'm, yeah egg roll just some just to have some egg roll I need to buy the entire box with these things but it's a good opportunity to kind of review these things because I'm pretty sure you can still find these Keep in mind, the original box of this are like crap, okay? It's like, I don't know if I have any of that original box somewhere. It's just those like buffet trays with a paper on it. Just, I would think that I have them lying around if I didn't throw them away already. Nope. I do have the chop suey box in there that I can show. But I don't think I kept the tray because the tray is just a tray. There was nothing to really show. Anyways, let's talk about flavor. Now keep in mind, this is the shaggy food, open food. So 
the flavor is not gonna be complete. It's just leathery and dirt. And more dirt. Maybe there's some chocolate somewhere, but it's still just dirt. Like if I'm trying to out the flavor on um, that dirt that you found over when you're a kid, ch chasing after a girl, wait for me, wait for me, and go back on the floor. That kind of dirt. A little bit of woodsiness and just dirt. Bonyard dirt shit. And then now it's hitting the wrapper. You get a little bit of sweetness. So now it's sweet shit dirt. Sweet chocolate shit dirt. And pepper. Now it's just really peppery. Ooh. Or at least that peppery kills all the dirt taste. And saltiness. There's a little bit of saltiness this time. It kind of tastes like... It just reminds me of me falling over, over, over again. Falling on dirt, falling on carpet, falling on dirty rags, falling on... Falling. You know, it's all that kind of uh, slight, weird, dirty smell to it. Definitely tastes like a dirty rag a little bit. Well, let me smoke one third. I'll be back. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh. All right. I'm going to do this really quick because ooh, one third ish. Um, I wanted to cover this a little bit early because there was a, like a, you know, open foot and then in transitions into a regular cigar. In the beginning, like I say, it tastes like dirt. It tastes like sad dirt. It tastes like a crying memory. It tastes like dirty rag. It tastes like everything that you can fall on when you are a childhood and cried about. Okay. And then... The woodsiness kind of kicks in. And there's some sweetness kind of kicks in, thanks to the wrapper. And you get a little bit of like, like milk chocolate or something, something sweet. But just go back to that memory a little bit. You already fell on the floor. You ate some dirt, possibly got some shit on your hands and blood and mud and all that stuff and somebody hands you a chocolate a really sweet one and you're like oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. your chocolate got shit dirt and something on it already and you took a bite that's what it tastes like that's what it tastes like is sweet, nice milk chocolate with shit, barnyard, dirt, wood, earth, dirt, dirt, dirt. That's what it tastes like. If you like earthiness, this is for you. If you like to taste what the floor tastes like, this is for you. Okay, so yeah, I'll continue. Two third, be right back. Two third of the way. Tastes like pepper, milk chocolate, dirt, burnt dirt, barnyard, more dirt, leather, 
and burnt leather. That's what it tastes like to me. It did not taste really good. I'm trying to uh, enjoy it by watching YouTube and stuff like that and really just chatting and then and, and it did not go well. It did not go well. So, mm. anyways, <clears throat> it is only a few dollars a guy. It, it is, they, you know, one of the things that they tried to fit a theme, but this thing tastes nothing like Kampao. You know, me being Asian, we love Kampao. And Kampao is, for those people who doesn't know, Kampao is actually uh, chili pepper and peanut. Uh, those things are considered the treasure of the palace. That's why it's called Kampao. If you look it up, you'll find out Kampao is peanut. But um, this thing tastes nothing like peanut, so I don't know. Laster, finish up, summary, but you already know what's gonna be. So yeah, spend the next minute and a half, listen to it. Be right back. All right, I, I'm done. Ooh, yee, ooh. So let me refresh my mind with this nightmare. Woodsy. Leathery, chocolate, pack the whole thing in dirt ball and shove in your mouth. That's what it tastes. It's been sitting over there, not doing anything, just like any other cigar. It did not get better. And knowing how long this bento box is probably be sitting because, you know, they never release a new one. This thing has been aging for a while and it did not get better. So. If you like it, good for you. If you don't like it, you still won't like it. <laughs> There's no way anybody could, oh, I don't know. It brings back some sad memory where I fall on the ground many times. Yeah. Anyways, I don't know why they use this color too. Uh, I actually don't like this dirt, poop, gold color. So, yeah, I don't know why. And the five star looks like a Dragon Ball over here. I don't know what they were thinking. And it says, the only bad taco is the one you didn't eat. And I can't even say that's the only bad cigar I smoked this week because I smoked a lot of bad cigars. So. Not recommend it. Don't buy it. Even if you see it, I don't care how much it is. It could be a dollar. Don't buy it. I, I forgot what I said was MSRP. Whatever that amount was, it's not worth it. I wouldn't have bought this for any reason. The only reason I bought that box is for the egg roll. And I was willing to pay that much money for the egg roll. But this cigar, it just happened to come with it. So I would like to tell you, I wouldn't have bought it if it was free, but technically this is free, but I bought it. But, you know, use those as firewood. I'm pretty sure it's going to burn very well. That's why you should do this. These cigars should go straight to firewood. And I don't even think it's going to smell good when you do that. It's going to smell like dirt. So make sure you do it outside, not inside. Not recommended. Not recommended. Oh, that's so disgusting. I need a good cigar. It's so bad. Anyways, if you enjoyed this review, like, subscribe, comment, share, support it. If you don't like this review because you like the cigar, I don't understand it. So I will see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.